All right. Here with Evolo. This is so great. I've been listening to your music seriously from the time I think you guys first came out about 10 or 12 years ago. And I think the thing that just really fascinated me the most is you look at you guys and, you know, obviously you still look young now, but you, you know, look like kids then. And you're thinking, oh, it's going to be this light poppy sound. But you guys opened your mouth and it was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> the heavens had opened up. Gianluca, tell me a little bit about you guys getting together and how this whole thing came about. Yeah, the the, the first thing that actually uh, about 13 years ago surprised a lot of people is that three young men used to sing operatic pop music because he always, in the history of music, uh, we were used to uh, listening to this music to adults, no? Right. Um, and this is the first reason why uh, we had the chance to bring our music all over the world. And, and our goal has always been to follow the steps of our idols, like Pavarotti and many other great artists, mm -hmm. and to bring this music also to the young generation and to all the people that love opera and bel canto. Right. And I was going to say, Nazio, has this been the type of music you have always liked yourself? Because, I mean, you guys do such a great job with it. Yeah, I mean, it's the kind of music that put us together. Because when we were kids, we used to sing uh, songs by Pavarotti, Bocelli, and, uh, and that kind of music. And, uh, of course, we love to listen to other kind of music. We love, we love rap music. We, we love uh, R&B or, I don't know, electronic music. But this is what, uh, what our hearts uh, as always wanted to sing yeah and it, it just sounds great because Piero also I heard the song that you guys the Elton John song I listened to that right before you know we did this interview and that was be beautiful absolutely beautiful hey. how about some of the other contemporary artists that you guys like oh we we listen to all our other artists talking about contemporary music we listen to Oh, the weekend the, the we weekend. listen to Bruno Mars, Harry Styles. Uh, yes, we you know our Spotify. If you look at our Spotify, so uh, I do say in Italian we say trasversale. I don't know if so. We listen to music. Uh, there is a little bit uh, from the twenty the thirties until two thousand twenty two. So we never stop discovering music. So that's the the most important thing: discovering new sound, new music, new artists. Well, fantastic. Also, and Carlo, you guys are coming here to Detroit. You've got a concert at the Fox Theater on September the 10th. Tell me a little bit about uh, what you're looking forward to presenting here to the Motor City. Yeah, let me say, let me say that, that uh, we can say that our career in USA started in Detroit because uh, our first uh, PBS special was taped at the, at the Fox Theater. Yes. <laughs> so I mean, Detroit is so yeah, sick. Maybe it's not the Fox Theater. Yeah, the Fox Theater is in, uh, in Detroit. Is in Detroit, but in Fox another theater. Trust me. Okay. Or okay. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so Detroit is a is a special city for us, and uh, we can't wait to come back. And uh, and of course, not just for the city, but for the story. The history of the city, talking about Motown and uh, and uh, I mean also Chrysler yeah. and Fiat, they are very close to each other. So we are we love Detroit. We can't wait. And I think, like you said, where where it was, that was the concert I saw on PBS. That very first oh really? And you guys, yeah, we're in Detroit. So of course I see this. I'm thinking, okay, Opera you know, Opera House, Detroit. Opera House. Not the Fox okay. Theater was the Detroit Opera House, the first. All right. PBS special, yeah. Yep. As you say, I just remember watching that going, man, this is great stuff. And uh, it's just so fabulous just to see how you guys, you know, just continue. And then when you had mentioned Can Motown, I... have you guys been to the Motown Museum yet? Uh, no. Yeah. Yes, I went to visit. I went I to me. visit. Yeah. I, I went okay. to visit. Okay. That's amazing. Great. Amazing. Amazing. One of the most beautiful experiences. You yeah. go through the history of the American music. Um, actually, one of my favorite albums is uh, uh, Motown by Michael McDonald. I love that tribute. That's a great album. I love Michael McDonald, M many other artists, of course, of the Motown, but I, I love that album. Once a fan, 
a fan, uh, gave me as a present uh, a, a whole collection of vinyl, uh, vinyls mm -hmm. from Motown. I mean, the old vinyls. Right. Oh, that's great. Well, here's something. If you guys have enough time, I know it's going to be a whirlwind tour. You know, come in, do your thing, and probably have to head out to another uh, yeah. location. But if you have time, like Karen, let me know, and we'll get you a tour back at the Motown Museum. Please. Back we'll yeah, we would love to do that. All right. Yeah, let's see if we have time. We must go. You got it's it. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, if I'm not if I'm not wrong, I think Eminem born at the Motown, right? He was born in Detroit. Yep. Yep. Yeah, he's from here. Yep. That's Ninth him. Street. He was born on Ninth Street. Yep, that's him. But guys, thank you so, so much. Don't forget, folks. Volo coming to the Fox Theater here in Detroit, September the 10th. It's just going to be a fabulous concert. I look forward yeah. to seeing you guys up on stage there that night. And thank you so much for your time. An Italian night in Detroit. We can't wait to perform there. <laughs> we'll be waiting for you. See you soon. You got Tell it. Right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll just stop the recording.